So I'm going to show you how to fishtail braid short hair. One thing to consider when you're fishtail braiding is that it's a looser braid and you're pulling smaller sections. So be really considerate about having the longest layers that you can at that point. Traditionally, I think we see French braid into kind of like a side braid all braided down. Obviously, we don't have that much hair. So we're going to do kind of a, a different spin on it. And we're going to do it on the side of our model's head and we're going to loop it back so that it looks almost like a French fishtail braid, but it's a really beautiful style, makes a big difference. She's got really cute side bangs, so we're going to leave this side alone, and we're going to do our fishtail braid on the other side. So I've already taken the liberty of kind of air drying her hair and then adding a little bit of beach spray to it. So beach spray is just a textured kind of salty spray. So we are going to start where we can get the most hair. So I'm basically going to take this whole section from the top of her ear to the top of her part line, just smoothing it out with my hands. Now a fishtail braid is a two section braid, so you're just going to take that section and you're going to separate it into two. Now what you do is you're going to take a tiny bit of hair from the back side of one side and you're going to cross it over the front and then join it in with the other. And you're just going to keep doing this all the way down the hair. So again, I'm going to take a small section of hair from one side, crisscross it over to the other side, and I'm going to take a small section from the other side and do the same. So now you can see we have our first cross. We're just going to continue doing that the whole time. You can always loosen it up, but you want to keep it as tight as you can in these first, first few rounds here. A fishtail braid is fun because it's a nice flat braid. It's not a big beefy braid, so it's great for doing like this on the side of your head because it'll keep the hair there really flat. When it's done, it kind of looks like a, it's a woven braid. These kind of braids look great with girls that have highlights or on a natural blonde. Our model has subtle highlights in her hair that you can really see throughout the braid. So that's it, you're just gonna keep going little section after little section. You can take different size sections too to create a more varied look. And the braid looks really tiny now, but we're gonna really fatten it up and I'm gonna show you how to do that. Mm -hmm. 